Hey guys, live update of the presidential election petition judgment. Electoral body, INEC, not required to transmit election results electronically. Tribunal tells Peter B and Labour Party. Peter B and the Labour Party in their petition challenging the victory of Bola Tinubu in the 2023 presidential election argue that the electoral body INEC failed to transmit election results from the polling units to the collection centers electronically. The presidential election petition court has said that the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC was at liberty to transmit results however it wanted and not only electronically. Peter Obi and the Labour Party in their petition challenging the victory of Bola Tinubu in the 2023 presidential election argued that the electoral body INEC failed to transmit election results from the polling unit to the collection centers electronically. However, the court on Wednesday said there was nowhere in law when INEC was only required to transmit results by electronic means. The difference is at liberty to decide how it will transmit results, election results, the court heard. It further heard that there is no requirement for INEC to electronically transmit the results of the election. Earlier, the court held that it was irrelevant that President Bola Tinubu failed to secure 25% of the vote cast in the last two thirds of the states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Sahara reporters had reported that Peter Obi and the Labour Party prayed the court to declare him as a candidate that secured the majority of the lawful vote cast with the required constitutional spread of not less than 25% of the votes cast in at least two-thirds of the states of the F Federation and the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. But in its ruling on Wednesday, the court held that it was irrelevant. It argued he agreed with the argument of the respondent that the FCT does not enjoy a special status that Abuja is inhabited by Nigerians, inhabited by Nigerians, and that Abuja does not enjoy any special privilege. It was observed as irrelevant, it heard. Earlier, the court said Peter Ubi and the Labour Party failed to prove abnormal in their petition against President Bola Tinubu and Vice President Kasim Shetema. Okay, so guys, this is it. And um, I told you guys that you should not expect anything different or miracle in this very in this very case. And now it's happening. This is fraud and lawless country. You understand? This country have a constitution before now. You see, these people they only they 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 always change the constitution to favor them. But this is really very bad. This this does this does not tell where about us as a country. International communities they don't take us serious any longer, because our constitutions have been, I don't know, I don't know how to put it. It's really very painful to say. I'm not even talking about. I am talking about how these people are handling Nigerian constitution. Lawyers can twist anything. Nigerian judges they are good in it. You see, the reason why people are now saying all oh, eyes on the judiciary because they know that something like this is going to happen. And it's actually happening. You understand? People have been saying, eh, let's see, Peter B is going to be Nigerian president. And they are going to... You see, these are the people. This is a country where you see, you they see something straight like this. They will tell you, say, no, you know they see and straight. Look your back and our back today. And then, you not go feel argue because not then they there. That is it. Today will be the end of all these arguments. And truth remains that 
their pronouncement today will have a far consequences on Nigerians' democracy. Any judgment when they, they do today, may they not forget, say, the younger ones are coming. The, ne the next generations, you understand? When you don't come off for of office, when you don't do what you do because you, you have been given bags of money and all that, and you work against the will of the people, there is a cost in that money. There is a curse on your head. When you accept money and you thwart the will of the people because of your selfish interests, there is a curse and it, it awaits you. These are just law. law of the, in fact, those laws are just there. You don't need to say this and this and all that. It's just there. I don't tell you now before, say, make you not expect miracle. Say, these people go do anything better. With all their body movement, with their all trances, you should have understood where the wind, you know, is blowing to, and it's happening. They don't disqualify Peter B, 25%, whatever, this one again, and all that. So, what is remaining? At the end of the day, just wait, just a few minutes from now, we still drop that Bola Metinobo has been declared the 2023 presidential uh, uh, winner and all that. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.